Hello viewers, this is Ayana Jay Balan. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to customize HTTP response using HTTP interceptor in Angular application. Okay. Basically, uh, when we are making a HTTP request to the API, we will get the response. Okay. If you want to customize that response, API response, you know, before taking to your Angular component, what you can do, you can use the interceptor to customize that response. Okay. Let's see how to implement that one. Let's get into the implementation now. I already have created one Angular application. In previous video, I have created an Angular application with the interceptor like called token interceptor and how to mock that interceptor and all. Okay. In this video, we are going to talk about how to customize the HTTP response. Okay. Let me run the existing application and see how it works. Let me go to the login component. If you see that one, I'm just logging in and getting into the dashboard module. Okay. If you see that one, uh, it's right now this data has been mocked. Okay. What I can do right now, I can go and uh, remove that interceptor. and see it again logging in and when i'm making re request to okay so this is my api response coming from the api okay i'm getting in a revenue and profit okay from the api so what i'm going to do after receiving the response from the api i'm going to add one more property to this response you know before sending to the client okay let's see how to do that one okay i'm going to add one more property in that angular let's see what i can do now i can go and create one interceptor called custom response okay i'm just creating Let me get into that interceptor. Okay, here I can see what I'm going to do now. I'm going to check my request dot URL ends with dashboard.json file. Okay, I'm going to make a request, but I'm going to add some extra property to that response. So I'm just adding to the pipe symbol and I'm adding the map operator. So I'm going to get that HTTP event. And in that event, I'm going to check my event is instance of HTTP response. Okay, let me say this is an HTTP event type. If it is an HTTP response, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check if even dot status equal to 200 that is my success status and even dead even dot data okay it's returning some data in that case what i'm going to do even dot data dot performance i'm just adding another extra property to that response sorry even dot you know body so I'm just adding to the body equal to I'm going to say excellent after that I'm going to return this event 
okay so what i'm doing here i'm just checking my url request is dashboard.json if that is the case after receiving the response i'm just checking whether my response is http response if that is the case i'm checking whether my status that is whether my response is having a success status code of 200 and i am checking whether i am having the body or not if i am having that body then i am just adding the extra property to that body as an excellent just adding a property called performance and the event okay i am just what i can do now here before returning the event let me console this dot log and uh, even dot body okay so in the dashboard what i'm going to do i'm going to display the performance okay so what i'm going to do display the performance so in that uh, let me add a performance empty and here this dot performance equal to i'm just returning the data of performance okay i'm just getting into that so here i'm adding performance okay let's see how it's working i'm going to that login component i'm just logging in i'm getting to the dashboard page if you see that one my response is having only revenue and profit okay i didn't get that one let me check what it's logged here so it is not logged here let's see what is the problem here okay because since you know i didn't add that interceptor to that app module it is not you know intercepting and adding the extra property okay so let me add that the app module provide http interceptors use class which interceptor custom response interceptor and the multi equal to true okay let me run the application now again let me getting into the login component basic user login and i'm getting the dashboard module now i can see that one you know my response http real response is revenue and profit okay but i'm getting an extra value of x performance property let's see the console see that one i'm just you know since i added that extra property excellent it's added to that body okay so this is a way you know we can customize our http response of our real api response okay hope you enjoyed and understand that one how to implement the or how to modify the responsive response of your real api response okay please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this thanks